I believe that vinyl's coming back because people are, you know, we were all so like in awe of technology. You know, when, when the iPhone came out or the iPod came out, we were just like, our minds were blown and we felt like we're holding the future in our hands. And then after a few years progressed where, where this type of technology is ubiquitous across, you know, the, the galaxy and about the iPhone and all these different types of, you know, devices, suddenly we woke up one morning and said, I just paid a thousand dollars and I have nothing to show for it. And this software, this didn't transfer to my next thing or I lost this music or it's gone. So I feel like vinyl is coming back because even though you may listen to the vinyl 5% comparatively to the 95% you listen to the same record on your phone, it's physical, it's tangible, it's real. I mean, f the fact of the matter is like, you know, I have, I have like a, an iPod, I mean, I'm sorry, I had an iPad, and I, you know, I check out books from my library on there and I can read there, but if I like a book a lot, you know, if it's not like a textbook or it's not like something you know, cheesy I'm reading or something like that, I wanna own the book because for me, it's like a generational thing. I wanna be able to show my kids like, oh my gosh, this was an amazing book. This vinyl is, my favorite record, you know? I think it's because it's tangible. You can't be like, see, um, uh, see this, this was my favorite record. It just doesn't do anything, you know? It, it's just, it's not tangible. And, and, and we wanna, we wanna, you know, I, I remember reading a book um, called How Soon Is Never. It was a fictional book about the reuniting of the Smiths. And, uh, but, but one thing struck me, because he was adding in kind of nonfiction and fiction from his own life into it. And he recalls a story where, he got the record, a Smith's record. He, he saved up his money, went to the store, the vinyl store, he got, bought the record, and he held it all the way home, walking like as if somebody was gonna steal it on his way home. And he put it as his prized possession on his turn, and he remembers the first time, the first note when it kicked in. And I feel like that's lost. It's just lost. We click a button, we click another space bar, and it's playing, and then there, there's almost a disconnect, a, a, a feeling that we've lost, you know? Everything else is tangible for us, clothing or even food or everything else is tangible. And yet we've lost this connection. I think in, in some ways, music has such a, such a grip on us that we want that feeling. We want that to know that we own it, that we have it, that we can like, you know? So I don't think it's going anywhere. I think vinyl's gonna be around for a couple of years. Simply because I don't want a CD. You don't want to own a CD, you know, a physical CD. Uh, um, now that's more like uh, a keepsake from a from a show you went to. I got the new CD, you know. Uh, I think people more or less want, you know, uh, like a, a tour souvenir. And that's what a CD is. But, um, but I think that vinyl's making a comeback because people want that physical connection with music again.